So with the announcement of macOS High Sierra and iOS 11 comes a big change under the hood for all of our Apple devices. It's called Apple File System or APFS for short. So what is a file system? So what is a file system? Well, a file system is how your computer stores files and other data on the hard drive or other storage system. Now, all these details are things we don't have to worry about as users. But it has to keep them organized. It has to know where files are, where the data for the files is kept on the drive. It has to move them around and take care of all sorts of things like creating new files, deleting files, copying files, duplicating files. All those details are part of the file system. So before and for many years Apple had a file system called Mac OS Extended or HFS+. And this was the file system used on all Macs and it was also used in iOS, on the Apple Watch, and even Apple TV. And it worked great and it was generally pretty fast. Now it's different than the system used say on a Windows machine. That's why a lot of times you had to format a drive with a Windows format so it could be read on Windows and the Mac could also read that format. But the native Mac format Mac OS Extended is the one that say your boot up drive would use and your time machine drive would use. Now we're going to change from using this Apple uh, Mac OS Extended format to APFS. So what makes APFS better? Well there's several different things that it brings. First and foremost is speed. It's faster. So it's a more modern system. As you can imagine the system developed in 1998 isn't very good with handling things like solid state drives and flash memory and phones and things like that. This is very optimized and it should be faster for all things you need to do including even booting up your device. There's a special thing in APFS that allows you to clone files faster. So say you have a huge video file and you want to make a copy of it. You can duplicate it and it will happen instantly even though it's a huge file because it actually just stores the data once and points to the same file for both copies. And as you make changes it records the differences between those files. Not necessarily making an entire other file and having everything copied there. There's also something called snapshots. And this should help a lot with backups. Snapshots are a way for it to quickly create read-only copies. Basically save the entire state of the drive very fast. Another thing that APFS handles very well is encryption. So it's supported natively. With the old operating system uh, file system you had to uh, you know, I had to basically save an encrypted file. It was just a normal file. But this is handled much more directly in APFS. There's also some crash protection. It, it's going to write files in such a way that it's going to avoid corruption. So if you're writing out a big file and say uh, you lose power or something like that it's less likely to cause a problem under APFS than it was under the old file system. Space sharing is another advantage. You'll be able to have a drive that's partitioned say into two or three different volumes and they'll be able to share the same free space. So you should be able to do some interesting things having a big drive partitioned and not having to decide exactly how much goes with each partition right off the bat. So where are we going to see the new APFS? Well pretty much everywhere in the Apple world. Because we're going to get it with the new version of Mac OS called High Sierra. We're going to get it with iOS 11. And we're going to get it on the new versions of the operating systems for both the Apple TV and the Apple Watch. So they're going to switch the entire Apple world over to APFS. How is this going to happen? Well, it's going to happen automatically. When you install High Sierra or iOS 11, part of the installation process will be converting the drive in place. APFS. And it should just happen automatically and seamlessly. Now, of course anytime you do something as big as an upgrade to a oper new operating system you should make sure your backup is all good and working first. So there really is no danger in doing it this way. And supposedly everything is going pretty smoothly with beta conversions. How about backward com compatibility, right? So you're on a new version of the file system but now you have drives that are using the old one. Well, You'll still be able to read those old drives just fine. But 
with new drives, how about if you have an old Mac, say so you have an old Mac that's running uh, say El Capitan, will it be able to read new drives formatted APFS? No it won't. Now if they're Mac OS Sierra computers they will because Sierra supports APFS. It just didn't implement it as the primary file system. So anything you've got that runs Sierra will still be able to access new drives using APFS and any new computer you've got that's using APFS should still be able to access anything you have formatted uh, in an old format, say on an old external drive with an archive. So when is this going to happen? Well it will happen with the release of High Sierra and with iOS 11 which will happen in the fall. In the past Apple's had the releases right around September 30th, October 1st. We just don't know for sure when the date will be. But when you upgrade to these operating systems that's when you'll be switched over to APFS.